Welcome back. Well, a lot of us, well, maybe some of us are doing some spring cleaning. And have you ever wondered where all the clothes in those big, bright colored donation bins go? I don't really think too much about it, but it's not always back to your community. Some of it actually ends up in trash piles around the world. ABC's Ginger Z has that story. In the scramble of the spring clean, you might be haunted by piles of clothing that you then put in that bag. And then that bag is often kind of blindly donated a donation site or a bin like this. But what we learned is that most of the clothing that's going in there is not staying in the United States. What donation centers can't sell or give away, they smash together into thousand pound bales. And sell it per pound or per kilo to exporters, sorters, and then they will ship it to various places around the world, normally in the global south. The United States exports the most secondhand clothing in the world, two times the amount that China exported in the latest data from 2019. Most of our hand-me-downs are exported to Latin America and Africa. The research that was coming out of Ghana was that 40% of that clothing wasn't sold, and so it ended up you know, being just waste. That waste is infamously showing up in landfills from Kenya to Chile. I've been painfully aware of all of that for years, and the last thing I want is for my donations to end up in a landfill. So in my closet, it's not just one bag, but many bags that are supposed to go to all the right places. The spot that says we'll take your holy clothes that are damaged, the one for unmentionables, the one for sneakers, the tech, bag after bag after bag. I just want one place to send it all. And that is when my phone read my mind and gave me Trashy. Trashy is a company that says we'll take it all. The shoes, underwear, stained t-shirts, just pay 20 bucks for this bag and they claim it will get to the right place. I packed up my bag and went to El Paso to see the process. And so we'll open your bag. Okay, great. Yep. So she's going to put the towel. Towel and the linen. Uh-huh. Shoes and the shoes. 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 And so when we talk about sorting and grading, mm -hmm. that really is the process for figuring out what's in your bag, what has value, where it can go, what can be reused, mm -hmm. what can be recycled. Mm -hmm. And so that is a really important part of the process for keeping things out of landfill. And is that not happening after we donate to a regular place? I mean, the reality is that different donation centers have different priorities. And so globally, we throw about 85% of textiles into landfill. Is there a way to guarantee that my towel doesn't end up in a landfill? There is no way to 100% guarantee that at some point it won't end up there. The thing that we do to guarantee it won't end up in a landfill soon <laughs> is making sure it's the right quality, the right market, the right price for that market. And companies like Retold and Subset are doing the same. The secondhand market has taken a lot of heat for those landfills lately. But fashion and environmental experts say they're not the problem. Are they a bit of the unsung hero? There's no magical place that they're able to put these garments, so it's still going places. But I feel like the blame is pinned on them when the blame should be the industry that is producing them to begin with. So I looked up an article with the Washington Post, so it says that some donations are in such poor con condition that they can be incinerated or trashed. So I guess yeah. that could be another okay. reason yeah. why it is. So, but that is very interesting. You, yeah, never, you never really think, like if you don't like, take a bag of clothes to Goodwill, you don't really think about the next step too much. You're just kind of looking to get it out of your right. house, you know? The main thing is just so, yeah, getting it out of your space. But yeah, you yeah. see those bins all over the place, they're at the mall, they're... Oh, here, yeah. There and everywhere. So yeah. It's interesting. You pull up to a little drive through thing. Yeah. So it really is an interesting mm. thing. But all right.